Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Thrift Store Toy Trash. This is not a Thrift Store Toy Trash live video. It's not live. I just wanted to do a special. And what this special is, this is my top 10 best thrift store finds. Best. The absolute best. My favorite things I've found. Just, I found a lot of good stuff at the thrift store, okay? All of it I found at one thrift store. One local thrift store has given me all this great stuff. And they've given me tons of other great stuff. A lot of it's been like smaller stuff that I still really like. Like say a goofy little transformer or like a little thing here and there. But these are like the legitimate things that I just find to be very, very valuable additions to my collection. So this guy right here is not number 10. He's just a little honorable mention because I want to get a few out of the way. This is the House of M Marvel Legends 3 quarter inch Spider-Man. I found him at the thrift store. He was just in a baggie. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Um, and I like him. He's really good. I've also found the Marvel Universe Iron Patriot. That's another one I've found. I've just found so much good uh, stuff at the thrift store. So he's one of them because I just want to show him off because I like him. Another honorable mention goes to Movie Dropkick. This is from the original 2007 movie toy line based off of the video game. And immediately that's really cool. But I kind of partially found this guy at the thrift store. I think he was missing like a chest thing, like a windshield and like a leg, something like that. And, of course, he's not missing it now, because this shows the beauty of the thrift store. I got his parts, right? And then I went to the, an uh, not the antique mall, the, the flea market. I went to the flea market, I think the next weekend. And what do you know, I found a bin of junk transformers, and in that bin was another dropkick that had all of the parts I needed to get this guy complete. And I love that. Ah! That is just one of the most beautiful moments of being a toy collector, is just bringing about two crappy toys that were incomplete and broken and just putting them together into one Frankenstein complete beautiful boy. And I love it. So with the honorable mentions out of the way, let's start talking. Let's start talking. Number 10 goes to the only clone trooper I've found at the thrift store, and that is the Black Series 3 and quarter inch clone pilot. Um, now, this figure isn't one of my favorite clones. That's why it's only number 10. Because if it's one of my favorites, it would be way higher. But still, I found this guy at the thrift store. He was actually still in the bubble. He was still in the bubble, man. Um, I guess the bubble fell off the card like a lot of these Black Series figures did. And um, someone donated it. And I, uh, I bought it. It's like a couple bucks, too. That's really great. Um, just beautiful how the thrift store... You, you just don't know what they're going to get. You just don't know. So there's number 10. Let's just set you back there because I kind of want to show all these off on the camera. Number 9, I probably got to give it to this guy. Uh, this isn't the exact figure I got. This is one that's in better condition. But I got the King Boomy figure from Avatar The Last Airbender at the thrift store. And I actually got this guy and I didn't even know there was an Avatar toy line like this. I just saw the 6 inch King Boomy and I'm like, oh my god, what is this? And I bought it. It was actually one of my very first thrift store buys. It was years and years before I even started making videos about it. And uh, yeah, I just got hooked. I've got a lot of the Avatar figures now, and I have the thrift store to thank for really kickstarting my interest in it. And this King Boomy is really good. It's super articulated. This is like a straight up six inch action figure. And man, I love Avatar, so naturally, I love that. So there's number nine. Number eight, I probably got to give to uh, this. This is a nice TMNT find. I found a lot of nice vintage stuff as well as TMNT stuff. But my favorite vintage TMNT thing I found was a Casey Jones. It's not particularly rare or anything. I mean, it's just Casey Jones. But I didn't have a Casey Jones figure yet. Man, I like Casey Jones. So I bought this and I'm really happy about it. Um, it was in a bag full of tons of... Uh, Tons of TMNT and other vintage toys. I guess a find that's better. I found the uh, Superpowers Mail Away Clark Kent in this bag. Yes, I did. Um, I did, and of course it's kind of expensive, so naturally I uh, kind of got rid of it. But yeah, um, it's, it's amazing, dude. It's amazing the kind of stuff I found. So that is number eight. Good old Casey Jones, because what, what can I say, man? It's freaking Casey Jones. Uh, number seven, let's start getting some Transformers in here. Now, this was, uh, this, these are two figures, but these were both in one single bag. Uh, the only thing I got on this thrift store day was a bag. And that bag had tons of Transformers in it. Had tons of little uh, Legion class and Legends class, but also had this deluxe Cybertron Optimus. But one of the little Legends class was an old Camaro Bumblebee, and I've always kind of wanted this, because I think it looks kind of cute, even though it's kind of trash. And it had tons. It had two other bumblebees that had like a mud flap, two iron hides. 
Um, it had like a jazz repaint that looked like G1 Breakdown. It had a Warpath repaint into some some guy. I don't remember his name, but I really like that. Uh, but yeah, that's another great find, man. The bag was like two bucks. Two bucks for all those Transformers. And I'm so happy that I just managed to just oh find so much great stuff, man. Um, this isn't going to be a particularly funny video. This is just a video where I'm gushing at the things I have. Uh, so there's number, what was it, a 10, 9, 8, 7, 7? Let's talk about number 6, man. Number 6. Number 6 goes to another Star Wars thing. I found a bag with a lot of vintage toys. And one of them was a vintage Luke Skywalker. And I don't have one of these yet. Well, I do now because I got this one. But yeah, uh, vintage Luke, man. He's a little yellowed, as you can see. He's a little yellowed. But other than that, he's in pretty fair shape. Um, I would say it's it's certainly a beater. I mean, it's not like a not like a preserved figure, but it's it's a Luke, man. It's a vintage Luke. And living in Cincinnati, the the, the city where Kenner was uh, based in, you tend to find some vintage stuff, but not nearly as much as you kind of expect. Um, this is really cool, though. Really happy to have this Luke. So that's number six. Now going on to the top five, man. Top five. I found some cool stuff. Number five, I gotta give to GDO Cliff Jumper. I found this in a bag, man, and I love it. Ah, oh, it's such a good figure. Um, but what can I say? I love this head sculpt. The head sculpt is certainly something that really, really draws me in. Because I just imagine Casey Kasem's voice coming out of that mouth, and I love it. Man, I love Transformers. Did I ever say that? Transformers are so cool, dude. I'm not, I'm not even joking here. I'm not even lying. They're just so cool. Ah. I feel the love. I feel the love in this video and in this list, man, because the thrift store is so cool. I mean, sure, we have to tolerate all of the trash that I get here. Let's let's put him there. Um, I have to tolerate all of the trash that I get at the thrift store, but look look what I get. I get the treasure, man. I get the treasure, and the treasure is what I really value. Number four is just a sugar coat of all of the amazing Shrek things I've found at the thrift store. I know I had to talk about the Shrek stuff. And this is a McFarlane Shrek. This is actually the most recent Shrek that I've Shreked up. Um, it, it's nice, man. It's just a nice toy. It's a good-looking Shrek. And I think I got it for like a buck, too. So it's nice. I mean, I've gotten tons of Shrek stuff at the thrift store, man. People are unloading their Shrek shit. I guess the Shrek stock market is just down until the fifth one comes out. And by the way, I haven't even seen these movies past like the second one. Like, I just don't, I just don't give a shit. But I love the meme. I love the meme, man. And the first movie is a legendary film. Will never be topped. Ever. Pixar, fuck off. Shrek is number one, man. And well, technically he's number four on this list, but you know what I mean. So there's Shrek at number four, because uh, Shrek. Number three goes to two Optimus Primes. I bought these on separate occasions, but I don't care. It's my list. Um, one goes to the first Strike Optimus Prime that I found at the thrift store. 100% complete. 100%. Every single piece, the missiles, the guns, everything is here. Oh my god. How did this happen? Um... I don't know, I guess maybe someone donated their a piece of their collection? I don't know, man. 100% complete, that's amazing. And the other one, uh, this guy's missing his weapons and he's a little dinged up. But the other Optimus I'm gonna show is the Weaponizer Optimus Prime. This is actually a very recent find for me. Um, you may remember it from a more recent video. But yeah, I mean, Weaponizer Optimus too. that's kind of a bit of a holy grail for me. Uh, I remember wanting that Optimus ever since it came out back in 2012? 2012? So that's great, man. I found a lot of great Optimus Prime stuff. Tons. I mean, these are there's three Optimus Primes on this list. That'll, so that'll just show you. I found tons of Optimuses. So that's number three. We're getting down to the top two, man. The top two. Ooh. Number two goes to another one of my very first thrift store finds. And that is... I, I don't know if you guys are really ready for this one. Because this is nuts that I found this at the thrift store. Yeah. MSIA Big Row. I found an MSIA Big Row at the thrift store. Uh, its claws have popped off, but I don't even have the shelf space to have his arms out, so I always have him tucked. But yeah, man, MSIA Big Row. Look at this. It's got the opening mouth, and on top of that, it's got the electronics, too. Dude! Oh my god! Dude, you almost never find mobile suit in action stuff, ever. And I found the Big Row, probably the coolest mobile armor in uh, the original Gundam show, at the thrift store. Oh my god. 
uh, when I bought this, it was even before I started watching the show. Um, I just knew the big girl from the Encounters in Space video game. I'm telling you, man, living on a busy street is just the worst. It's just the worst. I gotta stop filming videos so much just to let people pass, because they just, they just gotta have these loud engines, they gotta have their sirens, there's gotta, it's gotta be an emergency, man. Oh no, I just fallen and I can't get up, screw you, man, I'm filming a video, that's more important. Sure. So here is most of the list besides number one. Now, if you're familiar with the Thrift Store Toy Trash series, you, you're gonna know what number one is. He still has not been beaten as the number one find at the thrift store. That is... Transformers Animated Deluxe Class, Rodimus. Still number one. This thing was a bit of a holy grail for me, and I found him at the thrift store in a bag for two bucks. No weapon, but who cares? He got it at the thrift store, and it's an amazing shape for a thrift store toy. How did this happen? Oh my god, this is, this is my favorite Transformers Animated figure, and I love the show, I love the toys, but this is my favorite. This is my favorite, man. I love it. And it's my favorite thrift store find. I found so much great stuff at the thrift store, but this is number one. Still number one. The Big Row, this guy, all the Optimus Primes, those are the top three. I found some great stuff, man, and I hope I continue to find some great stuff. Uh, you may have noticed that the thrift store toy trash live streams and videos have kind of died down a little bit. That's because the thrift store hasn't had nearly as much cool stuff, man. They just haven't. Um... I just don't want to make a live stream until I got some really cool stuff to show or some really dumb stuff. I just feel like it's kind of dull when I'm like, oh, here's a little truck. Oh, here's a stupid little transformer. It's like, I need something cool or something stupid to show. Uh, they're raising the prices. They're getting less and less stuff. It's kind of crappy. But you know what, man? I've already found so much cool stuff. If the thrift store would just burn down tomorrow, God forbid, of course, um, I mean, I would be satisfied. I found I had my run with the thrift store, and I'm hoping it doesn't end. I'm hoping it doesn't end for the foreseeable future, but, man, ever since I discovered this thrift store, I have just, man, it's just filled me in here. I'm patting my thigh, by the way, not my chest. Yeah, I'm, I'm patting my chest. Anyways, guys, there's the list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Top 10 favorite thrift store finds. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the, the description below for social media links as well as my P.O. Box address. If you want to send me some meme goodness or random crap like this, be my guest. Be my guest, please. Please. Anyways, guys, have a good day. May the force be with you. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye bye